A straight rod consists of a 1.2 centimeter long piece of aluminum attached to a 2 centimeter long piece of steel. By how much will the length of this rod change if its temperature is increased from 20 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius? So we have a aluminum piece of rod, we'll say it's green, and let's say this red piece of rod is the steel. So they're attached together, and they want to know if we heat this whole thing up, and we'll just treat all of this as just one big long pipe, how long will it expand in linearly? So the equation for linear expansion is the change in length is equal to the coefficient of linear expansion, which we use alpha to symbolize that, times its initial length times the change in temperature. So what we have is we have a delta L for aluminum, and then we have a delta L for steel. So if we add both of those, how each far each of them expand, that will give us the delta L overall. So they tell us that initially the length for aluminum is 1.2 centimeters or 0 0.012 meters. The initial length for the steel, they tell us, is 2 centimeters, or that is 0 0.02 meters. And then um, there's a table in your book. There's probably one on the constants page under the resources tab as well. Um, I used the one in the book. I, it was already there for me. Um, so we know the alpha for aluminum is 23 times 10 to the negative 6. And the units for alpha or the coefficient of linear expansion are inverse Kelvin. And the units for alpha of steel is 12 times 10 to the negative 6 inverse Kelvin. And then they tell us the temperature change, and this will stay constant for everything, is 20 degrees Celsius to, um, to 40 degrees Celsius. So our delta T is 20 degrees Celsius, and you can convert it to Kelvin, which we will need to in this case, which is also 20 Kelvin. So now that we have everything, let's just plug it in. Um, let me actually let's scroll down and do it so we have some more room. So we're going to have delta L over all is equal to. Um, Alpha, let's do aluminum first. So alpha for aluminum is 23 times 10 to the negative 6 inverse Kelvin times the initial length is 0 0.12 meters times the temperature change, which is 20 Kelvin. And we're going to add the alpha for steel is 12 times 10 to the negative 6 inverse Kelvin. Multiply that by its initial length of 0 0.02 meters and times that by the temperature change of 20 Kelvin. So if you multiply all that out, the delta L overall is going to be 1.032 times 10 to the negative 5 meters, but they want it in centimeters. So if you multiply that by 100, we get 1.032 times 10 to the negative 3 for centimeters. Now be really careful when you plug this into mastering physics. Normally I just plug in my entire answer and I don't really worry about the significant figures and it'll just say hey you got it right but we rounded it a little differently than you. Uh, but when I plugged this in on this uh, for this problem for whatever reason it told me it was wrong. Um, and then I just changed it to 1.03 times 10 to the negative third centimeters and it told me it was right so I don't know why that did did that but you know whatever just just be aware of that and so it rounded it to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3 centimeters as the rounded answer for mastering physics